Su Chi Cheng, Taiwan's head representative in Osaka, Japan, committed suicide last week after facing criticism over his office's handling of Taiwan nationals stranded in Japan in the wake of Typhoon Jebi. Taiwan's top representative in Japan, Frank Xie, was interviewed by FTV and weighed in on the matter. Xie said he was heartbroken by Su's death, and he stressed that the criticism against Su had been fueled by fake news. On Monday, the son and mother of the late Su Qichen returned home from Japan. Su's superior, Frank Xie, had helped the grieving family with the funeral arrangements. He accepted an interview with FTV and said he would seek justice for Su. Director Su's passing is heartbreaking. Whether someone had framed him, whether there is any forged evidence, we will get to the bottom of it on his behalf. Xie lashed out at fake news, saying online rumors had fueled harsh criticism against Su. Disinformation and fake news are despicable. If you forge or doctor a photo or video footage, it's a crime, just like theft or robbery. There is a picture of Xie circulating on the web with the caption, "I won't quit even if everyone dies in the Osaka representative office." Xie didn't take kindly to the photo. This is extremely malicious, and it's an act of forgery. If we can't solve these problems or can't handle them, then frankly, the value of freedom, our free system, and the free environment we're so proud of will be destroyed. Shia thanked the netizen who exposed the fake news after initiating an investigation into the matter. Shia called for an end to fake news that scams and incites the public.